Kurt Caldwell is one of Dexter Morgan's most dangerous enemies to date, and the true reason for his killing makes him even more sadistic. Let's take a look deeper into Kurt Caldwell. Hello and welcome back everyone to Behind the Lens, your entertainment channel where you catch up with the latest releases and upcoming movies, series and more. Don't waste your time searching for fake news and release date, join your favorite channel and stay updated with the world of films and programs. So let's get straight to it. Dexter New Blood explains the origins of Kurt Caldwell's Dark Passenger and how he became the runaway killer. In Showtime's original series, Dexter faced a slew of sadistic serial killers, but none received their own backstory killer origin stories, with the exception of Dexter Season 1's Ice Truck Killer, who received one by virtue of being Dexter's biological brother. The Trinity Killer, Barrel Girl Gang, and Oliver Saxon all had their first shots in underlying psychology for becoming a murderer explained, but Kurt Caldwell is the first sociopath in which Dexter actually showed the fatal moment he took his first victim. The runaway killer in Dexter New Blood is billed as the most dangerous enemy Dexter Morgan has yet faced, but his path to becoming a murderer differs greatly from the pain that haunts the show's titular character. Kurt Caldwell is one of Iron Lake's wealthiest and most powerful citizens, and he has largely avoided capture or suspicion because of his position as the town's unofficial mayor. Kurt is a sadistic killer who has been hunting as New Blood's runaway killer for the past 25 years. He routinely kidnaps young runaway girls before releasing them at his remote cabin, where he kills them with his hunting rifle and embalms their bodies. While Angela and Dexter have confirmed that Kurt is a serial killer, they now know why he became one. Kurt tells stories about his father from his childhood, whom he falsely accuses of murdering Iris in Dexter New Blood Episode 7. Kurt's childhood memories reveal that his mother abandoned him, leaving him with his father, who would drive him around on his trucking routes. While Kurt was supposed to be sleeping, his father would bring fleeting women and sex workers back to his truck for sex, while Kurt listened to Del Shannon's song, Runaway. Kurt was given his own trucking routes about a decade later, and one fateful night, he stopped to pick up Angela's best friend Iris, who had been hitchhiking. Iris tries to flee while Kurt tells her she should go home because she doesn't know what it's like for women on the road, and as she continues to run, Kurt shoots her in the back with his hunting rifle. Kurt's motivation for becoming a serial killer differed greatly from that of his original Dexter villain counterparts, in that Kurt had no intention of killing before it happened. His desire arose when he felt good after impulsively killing Iris, which is why he recreates the circumstances of her death with other runaway women. Runaway Killer, based on a true story, initially captures the women by inviting them to his cabin, just as he invited Iris into his truck. Then he gives them the hotel room they would have stayed in on their escape route before realizing their captives and attempting to flee. After finally releasing the women, he pulls out his hunting rifle and shoots them in the back as they flee, just as he did Iris 25 years ago. Kurt became a dark passenger not as a result of his father's abuse or overhearing his father's nightly trysts, but rather as a result of the powerful sense and fulfillment he felt after irrationally killing Iris. While the reason Kurt became a serial killer and the victims he chooses were revealed in New Blood Episode 7, questions about his method of operation remain. To begin with, Kurt's killing backstory does not explain why Dexter's runaway killer embalms his victims' bodies. Kurt takes special care in cleaning, embalming, grooming, and dressing the bodies, with no explanation as to why this is done. Kurt embalmed Iris' body, so it's possible that he kept her body as a trophy before disposing of her in the caves, as Dexter discovers. As Dexter and Angela work together to apprehend Dexter New Blood's runaway killer, the full scope of his crimes may be revealed. So that's it everyone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. To see more videos like this in the future hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching, hope you enjoyed. Stay safe, stay tuned and see you soon.